Hey everyone, welcome to my Let's Play of Detroit Become Human. A becoming human? Then becoming human? Detroit is a narrative style adventure game um, from the developers of Quantic Dreams. They've made Beyond Two Souls and uh, Heavy Rain. And I think they may have had a hand in Indigo Prophecy, not too sure. But uh, you know me, I love these kind of games, so I'm excited to try it out. I got this game on sale, so it's been sitting in my Steam library for quite some time. You know, you, you see a sale happen, so you just scoop up all the games you've been meaning to play, you buy them, and then they just sit collecting digital dust, and you know, that's that's where we are now. So why not make a Let's Play of it? One thing I, I love about doing narrative-style adventure games as Let's Plays is that you, should, you can just sit, sit back for the most part and just let everything play out. No real strat involved, it's all about making choices, so... I'm glad that all of you are here to join me for this. I will say, one of the things that also intrigued me about this game was dealing with uh, my own personal bias about machine intelligence. So in high school, I have a really good friend who, who's still my friend now, but I remember he posed a question to me about artificial intelligence or machine intelligence. And he said, would it be so wrong to consider... Oh, as you can tell, she's talking right now, but I have her muted. I turned down audio. <laughs> but... um. Yeah, she, apparently she just talks throughout the, uh, the, the main menu, which is kind of interesting, right? It makes it like super immersive. Anyways, so my friend posed this question to me. What is wrong about artificial intelligence or machine intelligence having or forming a, a sense of sentiency? What's wrong with considering them to be people, right? And I was very much of the bandwagon of like, oh, I hate AI. Oh, destroy uh, anything smarter than a human. Terminator 2... You know, it is all about warning us about, or Terminator is a franchise, all about warning us about the dangers of machine technology. I mean, The Matrix was still big when I was in high school and stuff like that. So I was very anti-machine, right? Anti-progress of technology. Um, and you can still see that, that kind of uh, vitriol still online, right? That hate of, oh my God, she is so distracting, even when she's muted. <laughs> At any rate, I stuck to my guns largely on that idea. Never really moved from it until I watched Star Trek The Next Generation. Now, I've never really been a Star Trek fan. I've always been very much a Star Wars fan. Very, I've always, at, at a young age, I always considered Star Trek as more of the boring show. All they did was talk about politics, talk about philosophy, talk about science. And I was just like, I want to see something explode, like every episode. So I was always like a Star Wars fan love the movies, but as I grew older, I think in my 20s about, I started watching Star Trek, The Next Generation, and I was floored by how well it was written, but more so the character of Data. A single Data, and forgive me, Commander, is a curiosity. A wonder even, but thousands of Datas. Isn't that becoming a race? And won't we be judged by how we treat that race? And it was through that character of Data did my bias, did my hate of AI or machine intelligence just went away. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you should believe or preach about how I've changed as a person. But I will be interested in seeing how this game talks about artificial intelligence, talks about machine in, uh, machine intelligence. One of the reasons I, I try to stray away from uh, saying AI, but although it's like popular nomenclature to say AI, is simply because it's, it's not artificial, if we were to consider them to be sentient. But uh, <laughs> okay, enough of my rambling, let's get into the game, but first things first, we gotta turn the volume back on. At any rate, thank you for joining me and let's, let's get this thing started. Eighteen years from now? Well, that's not far off. Why can't we be in this future already? Instead, we end up with a pandemic. Negotiator on site. Repeat. Negotiator on site. <laughs> cool. So I have this, in case you're wondering, I have this on experienced. Not that I don't think difficulties should be too much of an issue, but well, I guess we'll see how that goes. No, stop. I, I, I can't leave her. Please, please, 
gotta see my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? This is cool. Oh, hold R2, RT, to consult your objectives. Find Captain Allen. Oh, it pauses the entire game. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Oh, what is that? What is that back there? Is that like a... Is that like a secret that I missed? Maybe maybe we head back. <laughs> it's like we have a, a crucial situation happening. Kneel down. Let's, let's check this out. Uh, Trigaster Leas. Choose by forming the right save. Oh, we can save the fish. It's good karma, is what it is. Wait. What is that saying? LB. Look around using the right stick. Oh, is there something that we can find here? Like a weapon or something. Bullet holes or bullet holes. Okay, I don't, I don't think there's anything there. Anyways, back to the story. Sorry, y'all. I know there's an intense situation going on, but that fish needed saving. Um, let's hold this. So find Captain Allen. I'm supposed stuff. Okay, so there's Captain Allen out. Imagine there's a bedroom to the left, and then there's people moving into the right. I think a lot of these scenes are timed, so. I need to be careful here. Okay, talk to Alan first. Got it. I gotta be careful to, um, not progress the story too much and or, you know, take my- take too much time just looking around. Captain Alan, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Deviant's name, Deviant's behavior, emotional shock, the activation code. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Deviant's behavior. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, I'll take care of it. Wait, I don't get it. Whoa. 48. Huh? Understand what happened. Save the hostage at all costs. Those are... Yeah. Those are those are mutually exclusive? Not mutually exclusive? Eh? Understanding what happened could give us an idea of what to do next. Uh, use the right stick to move the cursor. Okay, the MS-853 Blackhawk capacity. It's, it's a gun. You got a pistol here. What of it? You know, it's, it's this amazing music that also adds the intensity. Alright, let's check this out. Point three fifty five ammunition philosophy. Okay. Reconstruct. Use L2 or R... L2? <laughs> Sorry, I've, I've played like... I've played for... I played in the uh, Sony ecosystem for so long that... Now that even if I'm using controller on the on the PC, I still refer to a lot of this stuff with uh, uh, vernacular, like PS4, PS5, and vernacular. Anyways, use L L T or R T to review the reconstruction. Oh, like a fast forward and a okay. Now what's this? So we can analyze this. Deviant took the father's gun. Okay. Okay, so we, we start here. Then the Deviant took the father's gun. Why? Why do you do that? By the way, that 45 or 48, was it? Percent chance? I wonder if uh, I could have... 
spoken to him differently and you would have reacted differently? He was pretty callous there. wonder if I, if I acted with emotion, would have... Would he be like, oh, finally someone who gets me? Search the hostage room. Okay. No one thought to turn off the music. Alright, so there's music there. Alright, let's listen to music first. Child didn't hear the gunshots. It's mighty, mighty sumptuous. 52% probability of success. That's kind of cool. So maybe it's to, maybe it's all about that's the overall scenario, not the moment by moment. So now I have a 52% chance or 51% chance it said to succeed because I'm finding all this stuff out. Let's play it. Got his name. This music's so intense. <laughs> and I'm just looking through some old files. You've unlocked the dialogue action. Okay. Yeah, we we're gonna call it by its name. We're gonna call it we're not gonna call it it. Understand what happened. Uh that lock thing? Is there something else in here? Maybe in the closet per per chance? Nothing? Why did they send an android in? Isn't that isn't that curious? What? Wait, what? Why did that happen? So I saw the mirror, and then that was it? You just closed the door? And that's it? That's all we're gonna do here? Okay. Before we move on... I'm scaled! Alright, let, let's go. Let's proceed. We got a dead person there. Let's check the body. All units hold positions. The negotiator's going in. Uh, clues. There's four around here. Okay. Upper lung hemorrhaging. Right, due to the bullet wound. Oh. Lower lung hemorrhaging, internal bleeding. Uh, this bullet here, maybe? Left kidney perforated, fatal abdominal trauma. Also due to the bullet wound. What about the face? Anything on the face? dead. Six foot, 187. We're doing Imperial units. Interesting. Estimated time of death, 7.29 p.m. Reconstruct. Okay. So let's reconstruct this. Rewind and search for a new clue. Ooh, interesting. Father was holding something. Turned around, so we have our suspect. We have Daniel to the right, far right. You see him with the gun, highlighted in red. Turns around, sees the droid. Shots fired. And then... Let's reconstruct this, maybe? Wait, I can't reconstruct this? Use the right stick to move over to the camp. Oh. There we are. What's that? What did we unlock? Oh, right. We're going to check. Yeah, I was actually going to check the, uh, like, if they, even if they hadn't said it, I was like, what is he looking at, right? To have prompted something. They even had that context clue that the father was holding something. So regardless, I would have checked that anyway. Let's get to it. the iPad. Your order for an AP-700 Android has been registered. Cyberlife thanks you for your purchase. But why was he going to be replaced? What was wrong with this droid? Oh my god. Guys, please don't approach the target right now. We're gonna check that body as well. Android. He may have taken the lives of at least one 
may have. Interesting. Also, good for Detroit, you know, now having another uh, booming industry. Family was about to have dinner. That cop is alive. I saw his leg move. Ah, okay. Android not shooting to kill, but he killed the father. So what the hell is going on here? It, was there something on that? I, was there something on that pad that I just missed? I mean, yeah, he was being replaced, but could that have just been it? Okay, it's not letting me check again. Okay, I, that was all the info there. Let's check out uh, the downed officer here. Can we check him? First responder, dead. Definitely dead. Deceased. 5A. What was his name? Deckard. Anthony. Um, let's see. Ooh, check his hands. Oh, was he gonna open fire? Sulfide only one shot. Gunshot residue. So maybe he attacked the android and he shot the officer in self-defense. And then that, that's where the guy died. Let's reconstruct. Did the officer fire first? Uh, let's check this out here. Hostage witnessed the shooting. Okay, so her input is going to be greatly... Um, is going to add to the story even, even more. Cop shot the deviant... Was there a shot fired here? Oh, wait, wait, yeah, this this side is how it starts, right? Cop enters in, sees the child. Looks like the child isn't... is struggling. Cop probably tells him to stop. Cop fires! Open fires! He shoots the android, why? Android shoots the cop in retaliation. Kills him. There's the, there's the weapon. Why did he open fire? Anyways, let's, let's check it out. Oh, I can't. Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes uh, these uh, narrative kind of games can get kind of wonky in terms of control. Androids are strictly forbidden to carry or use any type of weapon. Oh, one of our first major choices. Ah. He's not a threat. He's not a threat. But if he harms the girl in any way, I'll probably need a weapon to put him down, right? Oh, the American Android Act. AAA. Do we do it by the book? If we can do this by the book, he's not a threat. Neither am I. What would Data do? Data would do a lot of things. Data calculates things more than a human mind can. However, peace. We should always talk things out. Use our words, not our weapon. What the fuck are you doing? You gotta talk to it or what? Let's do it. Any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Was there more stuff that I missed? Probably. Ooh, no! Name. Hi, Daniel! Uh, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Oh, no. Approach slowly, gain trust. Calm. Release hostage, reassure gang. Empathize. Oh, there's it's not timed. Oh. oh. I'm an android. Just like you. I know how you're feeling. What difference does it make if you're an android? You're on their side. You can't understand how I'm feeling. There's no way out, Daniel. 
What you've done is too serious. The only question is whether or not you take another innocent life. It's not up to you. I'm holding all the cards. That's right, you if are. I die. She dies. Jesus Christ, Daniel. You hear me? Oh. What's defective? Oh, Emma and you. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Uh -oh. Daniel, no. Possible cause. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? They thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Okay. Something to throw away when you're done with. Oh man. I can't stand that noise anymore. <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Except. The situation is under control. There. I did what you wanted. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. Oh my god. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Sacrifice self? Compromise. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. Come on, I don't Daniel. Wanna die. Do the right thing. Reassure. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Are you going to be okay, okay, Daniel? I trust you. Not on the glass, Emma. No! You sons of bitches! To me, Connor. You liked me. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, so Connor didn't seem to be too faced by that. Then again, he's not entirely sentient. At least I don't think so. This is the scene's flowchart. Here you can review the paths you've taken, the paths yet to be explored, and the possibilities you've unlocked. Each node earns you points that you can spend in the extras. Interesting. Due to the nature of the game, some nodes and endings will not be counted toward the completion of the flowchart. Right, right, of course. Sniper shot. Oh, no. There was a way out. Ended up build trust, light a deviant, light a deviant. I wonder what the lie was. Can I can I see the lie? Show legend. No. Can I tell what the lie was? Like, will it tell me what the thing was? World stats. Okay, I guess I can't check it right now. So I missed something in the room. Or was that just me not taking the gun? Probably that was pr probably me not taking the gun. Oh no, leave cops gun. There were uh, there was other stuff that I missed. Poop. Negotiate with deviant, and then the branching paths. Okay, well, I mean it's it's one playthrough, so let's see what uh, the next scene has to offer. I'm just turning on whoever this character may be. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. Languages and diet farms. And handles Whoa. the kids' homework. There's a bit of a bit of lag here. Good afternoon. Can I help you, please? 
Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it cost? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at $7,999 with a 48 months interest. Wow. And it, comes with a it does absolutely all the work around the house. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. An android night, selling an android. It switches to surveillance mode and contacts emergency services if there's a break in or if it detects smoke. Excuse me, how much is that? The NPA slightly more. This is amazing. I'm really digging how immersive this feels right now. And we're good. Can I go pick it up? Uh, yeah, right back here. There uh -oh. it is. I'm spending a It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. Oh, is this is this Daniel? The car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, oh, see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Yeah, good on Detroit. But the android business is booming and uplifting the city from ruin. Actually, I've never been to Detroit. But, you know, you hear things. You hear things. At any rate. I, I am curious why uh, the developers decided to set this in Detroit. That'll be another interesting thing to sort of unpack as we go through this uh, narrative journey. As it were. Oh, I really... I wonder if there is a path. I'm, I'm pretty sure there is a path where you could have saved Daniel. And I wonder about all that other stuff that I missed. I mean, that's the awesome part about narrative games like this, is that sense of mystery, that, that negative capability, the unknowing and being satisfied with the unknown. Also, I'm really glad this is all pre-rendered, because, <laughs> like, I don't think with all this happening on screen, my, my PC would be able to run this well. Probably get another crash. I lost my jobs because of androids. Help me. Data, guide me. But it looks like everyone can afford androids of some kind. David Kage. David Cage, as all of you may well know, uh, caught up in a bit of controversy himself. Okay, what is up with this? This is pretty bad drops and frames here. Sorry, folks. I'll have to, um, I have it limited to 30 frames. I'm actually going to increase the, increase it to 60 frames, see if that makes a difference. Can I pause it here, actually? I can. Okay, yeah. Sorry about that, folks. Let me... Okay, sorry about that, everybody. I just turned everything to high instead of ultra. Hopefully, that'll help with our, our drops in frame. Would you like to go home now? Yes, Rose. Yes, I think that's enough for one day. Here. L let me help you. Who's this? Oh, thank you, dear. Oh, yes, pausing. That's right. Go to the Bellantini shop. That's a goal. Retrieve order 847 at Bellantini... Belliani paints. Paints. I'm getting paint? Ooh, there's something there. Alright, we're gonna check that most deaf. Let's read this. You can reread discovered articles in the extra section. Next, or page one? Secrets of Androids, how Cyberlife designs its androids to coexist with humans. Designing androids that are easily accepted by humans are a huge challenge for Cyberlife, had to overcome. Jason Graff, director of the humanization department of Cyberlife, unveiled some of his design secrets in our recent interview. So the design secrets, there are, I mean, they have design secrets, they're not being shared. Interesting. The first android we, per, uh, we perfect, they had perfect faces, perfect expression, and we soon realized that there was something disturbing about them that made people uncomfortable. 
uh, CyberLife worked on ways to humanize its machines so that they could enter our homes and become new members of our family. Interestingly, this is an actual topic of discussion when it comes to building machines even now. Uh, machines that take on humanoid form or presenting themselves in a way that doesn't seem as intimidating, right? Like designing them as uh, dogs or pets or stuff like that. Let's go to page two. They created androids of both genders, all ethnicities, analyzing thousands of voices to find the most pleasing tones. Realistic blinking was perfected, though totally unnecessary, all, um, along with breathing, facial hair, and many other humanizing traits. This perfect simulation of humanity down to the details that androids simply don't need is a secret to CyberLive's design success. And that is sort of what we're uh, facing now at the at the edge of this technology in real life. Interestingly enough, next, what's 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 up here? Ah, it's like a whole new article. Climate change, how the environment is changing America society. Miami heightened sea level, uh, sea wall by further ten meters. How the environment is changing America society. Climate change up a recent U.S. Census. Okay, so they're just talking about uh, climate change here probably the new threat that we will have to face in some way, I think, in this game. I mean, in real life, yes, of course, but uh, in this game, who knows? Barely five feet uh, away from where I started and I'm already, the completionist in me is like, check everything. So my, my objective is to go to the shop, right? Well, uh, it doesn't seem like I'm timed, so let's not be in any real hurt. Uh-oh, uh-oh, excuse me, pardon, pardon. Okay, is there a sprint? Oh. I can't, okay, I was actually trying to stray away from the path, doesn't seem like that is an option. Uh, which is good, because then I'd be in this park for 30 years, just looking at every nook and cranny. Okay, maybe I can sneak in, sneak in through here in this playground, maybe find new details, more. Bill and Annie, it's not this way. Yeah, but what happens if I go this way? Okay, it's, it's a wall, you get an invisible wall. Also, really cool, really, really cool way of, of introducing a wall, right? Like, just game game developing standpoint, having a wall that looks like this, like it's part of the AI uh, and built into the world is, is really cool. I mean, just a, it's a small thing. I mean, not a big deal, but uh, it all, you know, perfectly wraps together from a design standpoint. Get yours today. Imagine Androids to be so affordable and stuff. Hurry up, you're plastic idiots. Oh, sorry, I was reading that out loud and I didn't need to. Crossing the street, look both ways, didn't look both ways. R, R, T, to use GPS. You know what? I, I can't help it. I'm just gonna say R2, L2, all right? Y'all just gonna have to put up with it. It's just how my mind is wired. We're talking about 10 years, 15 years in the Sony ecosystem. Oh, why does everyone want to bump into me? What is, is this a charging station? Do we need to be charged? There sounds to be some sort of, here we are. Another invisible wall. You know what the problem is with the idea that uh, because this happens throughout the phase of, of human history, right? With the industrial era and uh, machine technology or technological advances that make the modes of production easier. Oh, what is this? What's happening here? You know, one of the coolest things about Beyond Two Souls was when uh, Ellen Page sang her song. To this day, I don't think there's an actual individual track of her just singing a song, which is just uh, a bummer. But anyways. Do I have money? Can I tip? Can I steal his tip jar? No, <laughs> uh, I guess not. Okay. I'd love to tip. By the way, I think his sign read uh, here uh, a dollar for a real human voice, right? Because um, everything is now artificially constructed. What does this guy's sign say? What was that? Hello. Hi. This is supposed to be in base seven. Just kidding. Oh wait. I think there is a thing of interest here, though, right? It's saying that uh, he is a point of interest, right? Isn't that what that yellow thing means? Oh, 